Have you talked to Carly? No. Blood pressure is 62 over 31. Your patient is in cardiac arrest. I know. You're practicing the Pringle maneuver in the event of a liver bleed? Yes. That was better. Thanks. Now you can talk to Carly. I need to practice. Dr. Lim says getting away from things every now and again, having balance in our lives can be just as important to our performance as practice. Maybe you should get some balance by talking to Carly. I don't know. I'm nervous about my surgery, Sean. Practice will make me less nervous. That will improve my performance. Okay. You should also practice not causing a liver bleed. Planning on it. Also, how you will recover if you cut the portal vein, that's potentially fatal. Or if you perforate the small bowel, which could cause sepsis leading to death. Or if you cut the common bile duct, which no would cause... Carly. Right now? Right now. Aren't you still nervous? Nope, all better. You stood me up. Sorry about that. What's up? Sean's a little worried he may have freaked you out with his questionnaire the other night. Oh, I thought it was cool. Small talk bores the hell out of me. Well, I'm great. I'll tell him. Sean got worried about that all on his own. It doesn't seem like him. I may have mentioned that people don't usually ask deeply personal questions on an early date. Claire, I like you. But we don't really know each other. And yet you decided how I was going to react to Sean's questions, which isn't your business. And you were wrong. Totally, totally wrong. Sean and I don't need you or anyone else to run interference on our relationship. But out. just a temporary setback, we're gonna celebrate. I made dinner. And I'm gonna go get some dessert. I'll see you soon. I'm so proud of you, baby. So. 